We have seen in recent days and weeks that our country remains an intolerable distance away from the freedom and equality that our country claims to prize. Racism is ugly and deadly. It is an affront to basic human dignity. We grieve the loss of too many lives to the enduring sin of racism, especially as we have witnessed through police brutality. I am horrified by these deaths and by the attitudes that perpetuated them, and Mercyhurst University shares in the widespread anger and grief over the continued systemic racism in our nation and our world. We need to do better as a nation, and Mercyhurst needs to do its part. We are proud to be a campus known for its compassionate hospitality. As we tell students and employees from incredibly diverse backgrounds, you are welcome here, all of you, but words are not enough. To our current and incoming students of color, we are prepared to listen to you, support you, and empower you to have the educational, spiritual, and social experience that you deserve at Mercyhurst. Along with shared work for social justice, each of us needs to take a long, critical look in the mirror to examine our own attitudes and behaviors. None of us can claim immunity from the pervasive stain of racism in this country. We are wrapped up in the problem of racism together, and we can only get out of it together. We know that throughout our history, some employees, students, and guests of color have found this majority white campus to be a place that privileges white preferences and concerns. Whether consciously or unconsciously, we have not always lived up to our ideals of the Sisters of Mercy, who have for tireless decades advocated for changing unjust racist structures and practices. This is a time when many of us are called to move on with honesty and humility from an imperfect past, a time to be creative and courageous. Mercyhurst faculty are involved in offering special cultural sensitivity trainings to all members of the Erie Police Department and to all cadets in our municipal police program. Our Evelyn Lincoln Institute for Ethics and Society is preparing a series of lectures and discussions addressing racism and privilege. The Mission Office is working to coordinate extensive anti-racism trainings offered for employees and students throughout the coming academic year. This summer, faculty are renewing our ongoing commitment to anti-racism in our classes, our academic programs, and in the Mercyhurst community as a whole. In discussions across disciplines, we are focusing more deeply on a critical engagement with issues of racial injustice and privilege. The best news about structural injustices is that humans create them, and humans can undo them. The university is one of the most important places for this work of recreation. Students, we welcome your energy, your willingness to change, and your new ideas. In the words of Martin Luther King Jr., we will help you to cultivate tough minds and tender hearts. Our world aches for greater justice and equity. When classes resume, let's pick up the unfinished work and use the privilege of education to bring more mercy and justice to a thirsty world. Local, national, and international demonstrations remind us that Black Lives Matter is a sign of hope that people are ready to forge a better future. We stand with you. My administration, faculty, and staff pledge to do all that we can to be on the right side of history at this important moment. Today, I'm charging my Vice President for Mission, Dr. Greg Baker, with oversight of the revamped All-University Committee for Diversity and Inclusion, which will carry forward and expand the work of the task force I created in 2016. This committee will gather the best ideas from students, staff, and faculty to develop and implement a comprehensive plan for supporting an anti-racist university. In coming weeks, you will learn of this committee's progress and of new concrete initiatives. God bless all of you, and God bless Mercyhurst.